Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Please um, excuse my raspy voice. I haven't done a video in a few days. I've just gotten over a cold, but I missed you guys so much that I wanted to just hop on with this really quick and easy idea. Actually, last night, my daughter uh, came to me and she said, hey mom, I just found this. Could you use it for anything? And it was an empty makeup compact, like the kind that eyeshadows come in. And it was pretty well used up. So what I did was I just took some dish soap and a, oh, a toothbrush and cleaned it all up and rinsed it off and dried it out. And look, there are 12 perfect little wells in here to fill with watercolors. Now I have my big palette with my favorite colors in it that I use all the time, as well as several travel palettes. But I thought this would be a really great idea for those of you that, um, that maybe have a few extra colors that are not ready to commit to the regular palette or maybe they just want something to take out for travel or maybe you just have some paints and you don't have anything to do with them this is a great solution so what I've done here is I've chose some of my colors these are some Yarka student grade paints that are actually quite fantastic and what I'm gonna do now I have to be careful this is a very shallow nice and compact palette so I want to make sure I don't fill it too full because if I do it's gonna stick to the lid so I'm just gonna just kind of put my and I'm sorry about that glare I'm getting used to filming up here in my um in my upstairs office this paint is also pretty juicy so I know it's gonna level out pretty well there so see I just want to make sure I don't fill it too full but pretty much I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now I'm gonna wipe these wipe the caps with a paper towel before I put them away because I'm afraid that my caps will stick on really good if I don't but I kinda just put them out spectrum order there like how they would um go like on a on a rainbow kind of we'll see that one is kind of stuck so we'll skip a space for that he'll go under this one um but basically i'm just going to go and fill this out now this is great because you know if you're like me you'll you'll pick up colors here and there and you know you'll use up the wells in your palette and you might want a little like extra one just to store some colors in um so there's no mixing area on this now i might have to just kind of wet my finger and press that down a little bit that's what i'll do with the ones that stick up too high um but then I always save these plastic packaging pieces, like from um, things that I buy. You can see it's got a little hang tab on there. I would keep that with me and like put it on here with like an elastic band around it and take it with me when I want to go paint somewhere. In fact, why don't I fill this up so you don't have to listen to me raspily talk to you. Um, I'll fill this up and we'll come back when it's all filled and I'll show you how it came out. Okay, I'm back and I have um, filled up my palette and now I want to offer a tip because I had a comment on my blog and somebody said I filled my palette like you said Lindsay but my paint dried up and cracked and is falling out of the wells what can I do well um, vegetable glycerin or honey is really good to solve this problem and I didn't have a uh, dropper eyedropper upstairs because you know as I mentioned I'm not working in my studio um, so what I have here is a little bit of glycerin I just poured it into this little container so I could drop it a little easier now any of these paints um, like I know that's a Windsor Newton that's not going to be chunky any like there's a couple uh, Cotman and Academy colors here that I think might be a little um, a little persnickety I'm just adding a little drop of glycerin now glycerin typically is in your finer watercolor paints anyway so it's not going to harm it it's just going to keep it from drying out completely and then what you want to do is take it uh, I want to say q-tip that's not a q-tip this is a toothpick this is really bright I have I have the, like a light bulb like right there as you can see I'm going to look at this um, after I upload it and see exactly how it looks but basically what I'm doing is I'm mixing it in and it's going to help me level it out as I do it. And I got water there. I'm just going to wipe out my Q-tip in between colors. Q-tip. Why do I want to call this a Q-tip? I think I'm just completely uh, addled from not doing a video in so long and being sick. I finally feel semi-human. I think I might have had a little too much in this pot of color though. I might have to uh, remove some and put it in something else in my main palette maybe. But I just wanted to illustrate how easily you can make your very own homemade palette washer. Let's just use the other end there. Some of these paints are old, so they get kind of thick and sticky. Uh, push that right. I'm going to actually use my finger. I'm going to wet my finger and just kind of shove that right in there. Flatten it right out there. It looks pretty good. The finger tool. There we go. And then just kind of, that one needs to be mixed a little bit. Mix that up. But that glycerin will keep it from drying out and make it moist and ready to paint with as soon as you are ready to paint. Flatten it out again. Um, that mauve one needs to be flattened out. 
And then if you end up with a tube of paint and you know you've used, you squeezed out pretty much what you can, you can cut off the end and you can actually open up the pal the uh, paint tube and work right from that and then you don't waste any. So there's a nice little tip for you. Um, press that a little bit. But um, there we go. We have a nice travel palette. I'm kind of afraid to shut it. Oh no, I, I think I have a couple that are a little too overfilled, but there you go. You see the idea. I would ideal. I'm going to open this up and let this dry completely. But what I would do when it's all done is I would just put it um, with an elastic band around my postcard pack or journal or whatever I want to take with me painting for the day and off I would go. So there's a little idea for you. I hope you liked it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And until next time, where hopefully I'll have a better voice. Happy crafting.